Alrighty guys, welcome to yet to another episode of my Let's Play of Need for Speed World, and this is something I haven't said for a while, and to, the reason being is because I kind of didn't really want to play this game, I don't really play this game all that often anyway, but let's get on, uh, that's besides the point. Today was the day that the developers of, the, dev the devs of the Need for Speed World actually gave out the Porsche 911 Turbo Glacier, to everyone and I actually received mine it was a free gift as you can see here it is right here and I was just gonna basically assess what this car really is and what the handling of this car is and stuff like that so basically it's not a really good car and I actually got an achievement for that so yeah sorry I'm just but yeah I got the achievement for owning multiple Porsches and this was given on the I believe this was, this was given to us on the 16th of January I'm not exactly sure I believe so I can confirm that or look on the culture. so basically it sounds like an old Porsche Posh Porsche that I don't know but anyway yeah it just sounds like a normal Porsche and it kind of is a like a normal Porsche and it's actually all-wheel drive by the way all-wheel drive by the way I tried to do a burnout with it, but it wouldn't do anything, so yeah. And so yeah, now we're looking at the aftermarket stuff, and apparently, I actually looked through the aftermarket shop and I put the no spoiler option on. It does not actually, the no spoiler option does not actually remove the spoiler. It actually changes it a little bit, that little top portion of the spoiler actually goes away. And same goes when you put other spoilers on as well. Now I will actually put, I actually have put on a spoiler, I put the curve spoiler, which is that one. Because it l makes it look like it's got the wing is in the up position. Because the real life Porsche 911 Turbo has a wing that goes up and down. And as you can see, I actually modified mine a little bit. I have a black wing slash engine cover. I have black mirrors, and of course, there's also some hood options as well. There's only two IGC options for hoods, and they both look horrible. And I just wanted to take a look at some of the other hoods as well. And of course, there's also body kits and stuff like that. And neons, I will put blue neons on it. I did actually put blue neons onto it. I put black tint onto my windows. I will probably post some pictures showing you what it is. This was before I actually had any good aftermarket stuff for this thing. So I actually won black window tint from uh, doing a single player race with this thing. Just testing it out and stuff. And of course I put some a license plate on it. I put a po Polish license plate on it because I, I have no idea. Don't ask. I just did it for the heck of it. So now we're doing a little test with this car. Now I'm using a controller with this car. This is actually after I fitted it, I tuned it to 499 overall, which is max C class. And all I simply did was put a race tuned. I believe it was a race. I forgot. It was a race tuned transmission part onto this car, and that basically put it up there. And I actually improved the handling just a little bit. It became a little bit more responsive. That's that's kind of the problem with this car. It's kind of not very responsive, and it's got problems with understeer with well, as well a little bit. Actually, it doesn't have problems with understeer or anything like that. It's the responsiveness of the steering that uh, ruins this car. It's very, very unresponsive, and not to mention that it doesn't have very good acceleration. It has a really, really good top speed that gets up to possibly 200 miles per hour or something like that without using nitrous. And so, yeah, but this car also does not have CNOS onto it, which is a slight problem because most Porsches usually in this game have CNOS. Except for the Cayman S, I believe, and there's some, maybe some other Porsches as well. This is another Porsche that does not have CNOS on it, which is a bit annoying. But when you think about it, the handling is not that bad. It's just, you gotta get used to the fact that it's not as responsive as it's going to be. And the acceleration is kind of, uh, average at best. And so yeah, now I was actually going to compare it with uh, my Porsche Cayman S, and as you can see, the stat, the Porsche Cayman S actually has better handling than the that of the... Porsche 911 Turbo, and it has better acceleration as well, but the uh, the 911 Turbo actually has more better top speed, so it might work better for top speed tracks. Now, I actually did do some of the skill mods. I actually used that catch-up skill mod that I won from the uh, from the Porsche achievement, and I also put four seconds of nitrous duration onto it. And in terms of using this for C-class races, it's not very good. I mean. When you're just driving it for the heck of it, you don't really feel that it's not that bad when driving it. Uh, when you're driving in a free run, but as soon as you get into an event, you will notice that this car is not so good 
As you can see, the AI, the AI drivers actually are keeping up with me in this car, which is not never a good sign. If the AI drivers are keeping up with you, then that means you're either a bad driver in this game, or your car sucks. In this case, it's not the driver's fault, it's the car's problem. It's the car's fault. So yeah. I don't I remember exactly I don't remember what the fastest time I got on this track was. But as you can see the handling's kinda bad as well. It's got a limit a limit to its uh, turning radius as well. I just noticed that. So yeah. Overall, it's not really a good gift that EA gave out, but it's I guess you could say it's kind of an okay gift. I mean, some this is better than absolutely nothing. I mean, when you sell this car, it actually costs zero dollars, but you can sell the performance parts and you can get some money back from that. But why sell it? I mean, this is a special car. This is a special little Porsche. That, well, it's not really that special anymore since basically everybody has one. But it's something special. This is an exclusive Porsche that used to be a rental car and now it is not a rental car. And yeah, I forgot to mention this was a rental car back in the day, and then they actually removed it. From the uh, from the in-game store, uh, the car dealer, and so yeah, now we have it here, and we have it as available as a as a free gift. Now here's the thing: don't do not put this thing into B class. Do not push put this 911 Turbo into B class. It's gonna be worse. At least in C class, it's somewhat it's somewhat com competitive because of its handling. I mean, if you can get used to the handling, the limited handling, and the limited turning radius and stuff like that, you can at least get second place with this car if you're going up against news. Even with spammers you can get second you can still get second place. Team Escape, I don't know how well it is, but I believe it's pretty good for Team Escape. It's kinda heavy. So it's gonna be pretty good for Team Escape. As you can see it's maxed out of 499. I didn't show you the skill setup, but yeah, you, you can take my word for that. That's what that's what the skill setup was. And I actually still have it. Now Doing a little top speed run. The top speed is kind of hard to. Uh, the top speed is hard to t tell what it is because the acceleration is kind of bad. It's not very good. By the time, with this my standard top speed areas. By the time I actually got to the to the end of the straightaway, uh, it was still accelerating. But yeah, as you can see, it seems like it's already maxed out. But as soon as you go down the hill, it starts accelerating some more. And I got to like 190 thinking, 189 thinking that it was already top speed. But then it started accelerating more upon using the nitrous. So I, that, I was actually, I actually got lag from that right there. I had a bit of lag. And of course I'm going to do another run right here. So yeah. And in this run I actually got to a top speed of 190 and then I activated the nitrous and I got 194. Like I said, it doesn't have CNOS so it's not going to be very, very powerful nitrous. But this is... I just have to say this is not a very good gift that EA gave out, but who, yeah, I don't really care anymore because, you know, it's EA, after all. EA kind of sucks at giving gifts and stuff like that, and kind of making kind of good games. I mean, they ruined rivals, in a sense, because they didn't listen to their fans and stuff like that, but whatever, that's beside the point. This car's handling is not very good as you can see I hit the wall over there even though I tapped the brake multiple times but if you use appropriate braking methods with this car it will be pretty good so I guess that's it for this episode I will do a full review of this car later on and I will see you guys in the next episode goodbye